conceptual Jay sounded better than Jay Prince. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. Shaking is the street we're riding down in Houston. I have to ride down it. I'm on my way to pick up a couple of the kids. Um, and this is the route, and this is one of the most bumpiest uh, streets there is in Houston. Uh, but I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to stop by and encourage you to be more vigilant in what it is that's going on around us. Don't take anything at face value. Don't allow yourself to be misguided by the media. Don't allow yourself, uh, don't allow yourself to be gassed up, so to speak, on anything. I don't care what side of the argument or the philosophy or uh, uh, the political argument you rest on don't trust the narrative I'm telling you uh, one thing that I have preached incessantly is the importance of due diligence the importance of doing your research the importance of understanding how things work and never has that need been as great as it is now we have been consistently mishandled, misled, mistreated, misplaced, uh, and it's based off of our inability to develop a lucid perspicacity or understanding of how things work. And when you don't know how something works, it tends to be complex and frustrating to you. When you don't know how it works, you cannot participate in gaining or producing anything out of that system. There are a lot of things transpiring now that look one way on the surface and are absolutely the opposite. And what you have to understand is the media dictates the majority of the narrative. The media is the method of manipulation. The media is the stronghold of propaganda. And I'm telling you this because you are going to be getting a heavy dose of manipulated and controlled um, information. There's a reason that 70% plus of conservative uh, Americans have completely left Facebook. There's a reason for that. They have gone to a completely different media outlet. They have also caused the biggest drop in viewership in the history of Fox because of how certain things are being reported. And that message, when you have conservatives, which are predominantly white, middle to upper middle class, there are always going to be uh, some that are on the lower spectrum, but when you have conservatives uh, with their conservative ideology and everything like that, which are normally represented highly in mainstream media for a number of different reasons, and they are jumping ship in record numbers, understand there's something behind it. Understand that there's about to be a ripple in the status quo. Understand that how we are used to seeing things happen, it's not the same anymore. We're going to have to understand and learn to be aware of the movements and the behaviors around us. We don't study our enemies enough. We don't study those who we hold a disregard or contempt for enough. We, we, we get highly engrossed in our own opinions and ideas and we never pay attention to what's going on around us at a level high enough to gain an understanding 
of what's transcended, what's what's transpiring and what's taking place. And it has hurt us consistently for decades. I cannot impress upon you enough the importance of understanding what's going on right now at a level that is beyond just watching the news or listening to what someone else says and by all means stop getting your information solely from memes now if you want to take something somebody posts on a meme and you want to you want to use that as a catalyst or launching point for some research and for some due diligence by all means go ahead and do that but when you are sitting up excuse me when you are sitting up and trusting what someone else puts in a meme without researching it without verifying and validating it without doing what's necessary to 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 solidify uh, the, the factual viability of something then it is on you how you are misled and mishandled because if you if you believe that no one's out there trying to mislead you for their own benefit then you are already at a disadvantage you are already probably been mishandled and taken advantage of you have to know that this game is being played on a high level uh, I have put out some information I am going to be sharing with you over the next few weeks, uh, the importance of understanding the mind games being played by the media, how to manage and maneuver around these mind games, how to use these uh, situations to your benefit, how to also control your own thought and be aware and be fully uh, engaged in what's happening at a level that will produce the desired results in your life as an individual. Uh, we need to be aware on a collective level, but we also need to be aware as individuals. We need to know how to be the best we can possibly be at all times. No one is going to give us that. No one is going to benefit by us benefiting. Everyone has always made their progressions and and and, and, and advanced in their in their desired uh, spaces based off of our oppression, based off of our poverty, based off of our misinformation. And we are going to have to be cognizant of the movement around us, cognizant of how we move, cognizant of what's being fed to us and for what reason it is being fed. Why are we being told this? Why should we be aware of what the alternative uh, truths are? Why is it important? Because everything has a place and a purpose. That's no such thing as coincidence. That's no such thing as trivial information. Everything has a place and a purpose and everything is being presented for a reason. It is our responsibility to understand what that reason is and to operate accordingly. Accordingly, I am not going to be uh, for you long. I just wanted to share that with you while I was on the way to get the kids. I've got so much that I'm preparing to bring to you guys. That's all I've been working on all morning is what I plan to bring to you guys. But I had to take some time to come to you and share this with you. It'll probably be another couple of hours before this actually goes up uh, because I'm out moving around. But I definitely wanted to shoot it while I had some quiet time. When you've got 13 kids, even though the majority of them are adults, there are very few quiet moments. And so you have to take advantage of the moments as they come. So with that being said, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Don't forget to support the work we do. Go to the description blocks. Either click on the link and go to the page and donate uh, and show your support for the work we're doing in research and program development and community uh, empowerment and the uh, programs that we are offering by way of for, for mental health, the programs we are offering uh, for uh, socialization of our youth, especially our young black males, uh, the empowerment and health of our young females. We definitely need you to give us your support. And on that note, I'm gonna get out of here, up here to pick up my 16 year old, then I gotta pick up my 13 year old. Um, and from there to the barbershop, uh, daddy duty awaits. Anyway, look, uh, those are the babies, man. Can you believe 
it has been a journey. Can you believe I am now at a point where my oldest is 35 and my youngest is six. And there are a bunch in the middle. Uh, and I can't be more grateful for the opportunity uh, to have an impact on their lives. I can't claim that I'm a perfect father, that I've always been the best I can be, but I've always been engaged and involved and available. Uh, my oldest can call me right now and get the same attention that my youngest gets just in a different way. Uh, and I encourage you, men, this thing isn't easy for us. They do everything they can to take us out of the lives of our kids. And sometimes our own people uh, participate in that. Ladies, unless you know for a fact that the, your, your kid's father is a detriment and a harm to them, don't stop him from being a part of his kids' lives. Don't use the kid as a bargaining chip. Don't use the kid as a point of leverage or a way of settling a score. Uh, let's not do that. Men, I don't care what she did. I don't care who it is. She's the mother of your children. And those kids need, regardless of how you feel about her, it isn't about you anymore. It is about the kids. Uh, and I say that because I've experienced a lot and it has not been easy um, in some instances, but the thing is I've been persistent. Uh, and the thing is, and you know, any of my kids will tell you, there's no kid I dodge. So my kids can be trying at times, uh, but I do the best I can. And the one thing that I will always be able to say is I was available. Oh, here comes one now about to get in the car. This is the little bouncer one, too. She's something else. Y'all, anybody want 16 year old? Um, but anyway, I'm about to get out of here. Hey, I'm about to get out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. And I will holler at you guys later. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. First of all, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given uh, and sent my way and my wife's way and the organization's way. Now, I want to just take a brief moment to remind you that we still need your support. We still need your help. Go to the description box of one of our videos and see how you can support the work we're doing. Keep supporting, keep loving us, and we're going to keep loving you back. Have an awesome day. Talk Real about talk, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.